She was up here uh, quite a few times. Had the candles. Was going to make a video. Didn't have a real good day fishing, but I did catch a few fish. There we go. Jeez. I'm doing the opening interview. I am not much of a bass fisherman. Jeez. I'm not much of a bass fisherman. I must have had that thing on, I didn't even know it. Pretty cool. Get my pliers, we'll get him off the hook. We'll release him. There it is. So we're back again today. See if we can get, a, get a few fish. Hopefully, something with a little bit of size to it. We might do a catch and cook. I'm not 100% on that, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we're coming up on the spot here. Here's the last time I was up here. Caught quite a few bluegills. And that's kind of what we're after today. Nothing really big. I do got some stuff for bass. I got the fly rod. Really want to catch some bluegills on the fly rod. Wow. We're going to see what happens today. I don't know what we're going to catch. But we'll see what happens. Alright. So I actually got the fly rod out. I'm going to start with that first. Enjoy the fly rod. Actually, enjoy the fly rod. Oh, we got something. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, it got off. Oh, it got off. <laughs> well, we had something there right away. That's pretty good. nice with the fly rod out on a kayak. You don't have to worry as much about limbs and the grass and everything that's behind you. I'm not a very good fly fisherman, but I have to worry about that stuff. I think I gotta worry about this rod back here. Alright, we're rigged up here for a bluegill. Got a piece of night crawler and a bobber. Let's see what happens with that. so hard when you make these videos because this is the kind of stuff that happens. They do fight pretty good. And that hook's a little deep. We may end up putting this one on the stringer. this guy on the string. See if we can catch a couple. 
couple more. He's already bleeding at the gill, so he ain't gonna make it. They bleed at the gill, they're probably not gonna make it. We got one on the stringer. Let's try to catch a couple more. Feel big, but it didn't feel big, but it was pretty decent size. We'll let that one go, kind of on the small side. This is this video is typical of most of the videos I've been trying to do on the kayak. Catch a couple, probably gets kind of boring. A lot of fishing, missing fish. Just really not enough there to put a video together. Another smallish one, not quite big enough. I want something a little bigger. We might keep that one. We're gonna little drag.
This is probably the biggest one so far. Put him on the stringer. side just slightly smaller but I'm gonna let it go not sure what that was but that baby ran bigger fish than what it was. Just a little guy. Definitely gonna keep that one. It's a nice size one. This guy got it down in there deep. Some people cut the hooks off. I guess that's better than trying to pull it out, but I sometimes think they have a hard time making it anyway. This one. Oh.
There we go. Oh, that's a big fish, whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but it's not a it's not a bluegill. That is not a bluegill. It's big, whatever it is. It's pulling the boat. Hope it doesn't break off or get off because I'd like to see what the heck it is. It is a big fish. Whoa. Whatever it is, I caught it on a fly rod. Oh, it's a big bass. It's a big bass on a fly rod. I got like on a fly rod though. That's pretty cool. There we go. On a fly rod. Nice looking bass. Nice looking bass. On a fly rod, check that out. Oh, that was pretty exciting right there. You believe that bass went after something little like that? Pretty cool. Took us for a ride in the kayak, I know that. guys wind picked up it's starting to look like it might rain so i think what we're going to do i'm going to call quits for the fishing we'll go home clean up these bluegills we got uh four here we got one polar we got ice in the polar we'll clean them up and we'll have a hot cook with bluegills all right we got a bluegills here Cooler. I'm gonna fly some of these up to cook later. Not sure if I should uh, actually show all the flaying. I know that things get flagged on YouTube, things get demonetized. We're gonna fillet these up. Different ways people do them. I'm gonna try the way I do it. There isn't a whole lot of meat on these smaller bluegills. I really want bigger ones, but we'll make the best what we got. Alright guys, we got them all cleaned up, got them all filleted. Nice little fillets. So they're not real big, not a lot of size to them, but they are going to taste good. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to coat them with some flour and some different seasonings. Got them in a Tupperware thing here. Gotta excuse some of the background noise. I got a cat here that will not leave me alone. She just wants attention. And the refrigerator's running. Waited a while for it to shut off, but it didn't. So we got the flour. We're gonna put some different spice in it. Got some black pepper. So basically we're just making seasoned flour. Now you could probably just put flour on them and season them as they cook. Got some slap your mama. Makes it a little bit spicy. Got some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. And a little more garlic. We got some garlic powder. Now what we're going to do is coat all the fillets.
All right, so we got the bluegill cooked up. We're going to give it a try. Got a nice piece of fillet here. Break some off. We're going to give it a taste. That's one thing with these bluegills. It tastes a lot better than a trout. Now, you probably noticed in my videos, I do a lot of trout fishing. I like to catch trout. When it comes to eating, bluegill tastes a lot better. This is good stuff. So that's going to be it for the video. We got to take the kayak out. Got to do a little bit of fishing on it. I got some bluegill to eat. So I apologize again for all the noise. A lot of background noise and stuff in this video. Probably didn't come out very good. But the bluegill come out pretty good. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.